Welcome to a nearly new day in Reforged Eden for Imperium Galactic Survival. In the last part, we continued to explore the planet and we came to the UCH wreckage here, destroyed a few drones, and we've now got control of this base. Now, uh, before I get started, a big thank you for your comments and feedback. As usual, you guys give me a lot to think about. I did get one question about why I had not destroyed the core in this wreckage. And the reason is um, I will do plan to do it, but what I want to do first is get out explore a little bit gather some more resources because another comment i got was about using blueprints to create ships and one thing i do really would like to do in this series is actually build a lot more of my own ships but i think that what we're going to do in this part though is go out and we're going to take over the hover bike and ex ex expand our search area because what i'd like to do is find out whether we've got any crash ships on this planet something i can build a cv from because that will then give me an idea of what I can build from scratch. Because one of the problems you get to building your own ships is that it's not long before you start hitting things like this, where you've got to have a small constructor. So what it means is you've got to have a base to build the components to actually build the ship. It's a bit of a catch-22 situation. And as any of you who follow my series, you know I'm very averse to having static bases. I do accept the fact that if we're not going to um, get ships on blueprints and build them ourselves we do need some kind of base but the way this is going to go is we're going to try and get a minimal ship so preferably a cv which i can then use as a mobile base to move around and collect resources and and again as if any of you follow my series you know that what i like to do is constantly rebuild that cv until i get to a point where it becomes an operational ship and of course, in Reforged Eden, we've got this opportunity now to have solar panels in space, which I think is a big step forward. Anyway, guys, what I've done is built a basic generator and a small fuel tank so that we can recover the hover bike. The, the one thing I was that just remembered is I would like to get a... We're going to have to unlock the spotlight and the sensor about the cargo... Right, we're going to need some cargo boxes as well. It'd be nice to get a trauma station on the hover bike as well, but that's, a, that's something we we'll have to look at. Um, okay, well, I've got it set to hover bike up here so I can see what I get. Because one of the things about when you play Reforged Eden is that if you go to everything and then come in here, what you'll get sometimes is it will tell you... If I can find it now. It says SSGV... I think that means uh, Starship's general general vehicle. So sometimes if you're not sure what it pays to just put the filter on, we're going to build that. Oops, yeah. Back here. Secondary firing modes have been successfully installed in the Oryx. So, okay. That's the encyclopedia doing its thing. And the other thing I wouldn't mind is at least one cargo box as well. Anyway what we're going to do is just get out and uh, we do need to bring some fuel with me we do need to bring some fuel with me though as well got some biofuel but i think we've got some ordinary fuel as well we probably don't need that much yeah and the other thing i've done off camera is that the uh what we call it the the uh portable constructor I left by the broken antenna I went out and recovered everything from that so that now I don't have to um, I've got all my resources in one place anyway we're just going to go and what have I got oh of course I picked the tent up as well I need to deploy that by the UCH wreckage as well anyway let's just get the hover bike um, sorted I um, mean it's got a core in it so what we should need to do is put the fuel supply and the generator in and a little bit of fuel and then we can we should be in business um perhaps, uh, right we need to take that off and that off and that we've got the bike with me as well um that should do it the generator in the bottom well, it makes that much difference to be honest um and this is a little bit of a gap it looks like we've got one 
patrol on there already. I think that might be a hole underneath the hover bike, but we'll put that there so that we've got a little bit of space inside here for the scanner. And then that means we should be able to put some fuel in. And what we should be is in business. Power on. And we should be able to scoot back to. We might need to adjust this a little bit so we can actually see. I like to see the back of the ship because it gives me a bit of a something that I can work with. That would just. And then we're we'll just getting here. Well, got that. I think I'd like to put a second uh, cargo box on here if possible. Get that. Uh, I'd like to put this sensor behind the seat. I'm not sure if we got enough space for two paper. Why won't it go in there? And we can we can do is that in yeah it was obviously the game was having a little bit of a freak out and the other thing I wouldn't mind is a wireless connection but we've got got a little bit of plastic tubes in here and we've got we got 325 it's less than what I've got in my inventory but every little helps as they say what we will do now is deploy the tents. I think it will let me. Um, oh, it's only a spawn point, so we could put it out here actually. Put the tent here, and that gives me a spawn point. We've got a. Up to. Back in there. Ah. Uh, keep the bike with me just in case got some biofuel we got a little bit of extra fuel as well and of course what we got to do now is get down to plant fibers how many plant fibers we got we're going to start producing actually yeah we'll start another five of those uh, leave the core behind well most of the plant fiber can stay as well getting spoiled food now um not sure why i'm getting the spoiled food but uh, we need to keep an eye on that as well can't remember what was there actually um, we got that one there. I think we'll take that with us. Um, that's going to spoil as well. Right, so what I want to do now is just push out round. We're going to head a little bit in the direction of the village. But first we're going to go uh, east and see what's in that direction. We've got a bit of a distance scan now. Over here. So we're going to push out this way, see what we can find. A bit of height. And of course, we're going to need to keep an eye out for the local um, drones. And of course, that means we can put one of 
advice. Not getting anything on the radar just yet. It's a little bit unfortunate, but that's okay. Oh, a little bit of a... Right, we've got three heat signatures ahead of us. I got the... Let's go and check these heat signatures out. I'd press F6 by mistake so it wasn't showing up on the scan. Okay, there's a minigun drone in the area. This isn't going to help matters very much, but what we can do is a very quick flyby. Just to see. I've got an old tank station here. I would certainly like to do that because that's a, a old tank stations often some pretty good loot in All right we're gonna hunt the minigun aerodrome so I would certainly like to um, have a go at the old tank station like sit by the tree now, somebody pointed out in the comments that they've got a weak point on the front, but the problem is... Right, we need to chase him. He could be heading towards my motorbike. Actually firing back, which is on him. Okay, I'll we'll just pick this up. There's my bike is to my left. I'm well, not bike, hover bike is over here. Just keep picking up the plant fiber. <coughs> Grab this way through. Mainly for XP. We'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that. We've got small wreckage. Trade station. 385. We're going to head for the old tank station first. Oh, it's not the one I thought it was, but there's a little bit of loot in these. Any problem often is the radiation. Okay, if there's any spitters in here. I'll take that. I need to keep an eye on the radiation. What happened there? Like logistics. Oh, I'm going to need to put the what we call it in the uh, uh, the Wi-Fi. Forgot all about that. Just move around the other one. So, well, we'll take the biofuel. Hope it's useful to have. I've got a trade station here. Um, doesn't say who it is. Uh, it's probably Polaris, but you never know. Power off, save a little bit of power.
is not indicating on here who it is, but go and see what we can get in here. Yeah, this is a always take that. Okay. Let's see what we got here. We've got no money, but I uh, heard anything interesting lately. You should check out shipyards if you're looking to make a quick buck for setting salvage. There's always a need for materials and components. Fast track their buildings. Okay. Welcome there. Let's right, see what you've got. Got multi tool. I'd love a multi tool, but I haven't got any money. <laughs> I mean, I've got 50 credits, but I mean, we could make something. Now we know we've got a trade station nearby. We could. Ah, hello. We could actually come up here and do something. It's weapons and commodities. Right. Anyway, we know we got a trade station. We can't do much with it just at the moment, but um, that's good enough. And I've got to remember which way I came in. Wait, out the way. That's quarters. I don't think, I think they get upset if we loot anything with it. The other good thing is if we, there's a shower in here. Yes, there is. That's good. It's good to know that we've got a shower. Got a wardrobe in here. Oh, we're taking the improved light armor. <laughs> okay, we can steal things. That is good. I know we shouldn't steal things, but can't find my ship. Is there any rooms around the top? Side doors, rooms, anything? We'll take the port sandwiches. Oops, it's in the door. What we got down here? Oh, this takes me right back to the. Oh, look at that, eh? radiation protection. This takes me back to the early days of Imperium when you could go in bases and steal everything or oh, make a kit or take that. And that's good. This is outside. I uh, don't think there'd be. That's locked, so we can't go in there. Oh, got another door. Can I steal something from your fridge if I can get to it? Haha. <laughs> well, we'll take that. Nothing out here. Okay, I think we've got everything that we can get from here. So we've got improved light armor. This is armor 150. This is a armor 125. Can I put improved up? No, it won't let me put it on. The only thing we can put on is light armor. So to put this on, we'll need an armor locker, which is a little bit unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Right, we've got small wreckage which we're facing we're let's go out and see if we can grab these as well while we're here not a big fan of the hover bikes so we're not going to keep it very long um we we need a multi-tool I, I can't remember the last time i actually gone so long without a uh, multi-tool I would certainly take that take this that's 
picked up some steel plates, not that we need them, but it's just the principle of the thing. Okay. Again, we'll just offload some of this stuff into. We're going to need a fridge as well. We could put a fridge on the hover bike. Um, that's something else we could do. Where are we? Right. right we've got heat signatures all around us, but we're going to. Some small wreckage over here. We'll go and check this one out. Looks like this might be a dig one. Um, is it? Can't see. Oh, oh no, it's just there. Bought food. We got some water. We got some energy pills. And we got some baked beans. Yeah, we're definitely going to need a fridge. So what we'll do is check this wreckage out. And then we'll get back to... And then we'll put a fridge on this thing. Um, next one is in that direction. Is it that way? Another aerodrome just over there. A little bit of scrap, but uh, about it. Don't really want to hang around here too long. That guy is. So we've done that one, we've done that one, we've got the old tank station. Um, right, we've got the heat signatures out this way. What I'm going to do is try and get the heat signatures and then we'll head back to base. Oh, I'm stuck in the trees. Okay. And we'll get a fridge on this ship. And uh, what else did I need? Oh, an armor locker. Although we, we can go with the light armor at the moment. We're not exactly... I've uh, got drones out here. I don't really want to tangle with drones just at the moment. I know I've had a good um, run so far, but I don't want to push me luck with this ship because we we got some good stuff now, and I don't want to lose it. Right, we've got some heat signatures just through here. What on the start of rock? That's okay. Always reluctant to fly over water with the hover bike because if you stop, it tends to sink down but as long as you keep moving you're okay but if you get happen to get stuck or something like that it drops down into the water and then you've got problems so this is, seems to be flooded no, okay out the way get out of here very quickly and we're going to head back the way we come we need to get back to dry land a very big flooded area here so then again this is a swamp planet so um wow i think we're back on dry land but right, we're gonna head back for the uch wreckage i uh, should have made a fridge before when i just got started but okay well, whoops Okay, here we are. We're back to the wreckage. I think we can come in on this side. Just park here very quickly. Oops, a little bit far away than I thought, right? Um, of a vehicle, we need a fridge. And what was the other thing we... Oh, we need a wireless. I think wireless is in uh, miscellaneous, isn't it? Wireless connector. And let me just get into here. Well, 
make a bridge a wireless connector what we're going to do is bump off that, that more spoiled food I think they were herbal leaves I'm not sure we need the water but okay take the fridge with us Do is we just bridge it in there, and we've now got a way to preserve food. I can put, also put the energy tablets in there as well. <laughs> That's nice. Um. Um. Okay, so we got there we can put the grain in the fridge just so that in case we need it and we'll just pop this in as well got the wi-fi thing i don't i think i'm going to take a chance and not take the bike with me because that doesn't that Kind of things. I think the other thing I would like is if we come for weapons, everything, weapons. I think it's time to get a chainsaw. It's, it's going to be a lot easier to cut trees down with that. Now, where are we going to put the Wi Fi? Thingy Bob. Of running out of space it i think i'm just going to chuck the wi-fi on the back i know it looks a bit incongruous but um actually i could yeah i think well, i can't take it off anyway now because i've got a multi-tool i need a multi-tool tell me i'm actually going to have to make one i mean i haven't made a multi-tool for a very long time medical injector specialized injector gun from minister in first aid to an ally in the field well we don't have any allies at the moment right we're gonna to have to consider making a multi-tool but then we don't have the promethium for um well we've unlocked it anyway so i right, can make a multi-tool and we've got a couple of fuel cells okay we're gonna make a multi-tool And, oh, it's one to one, isn't it? We got a couple of promethium cells. I think it's going to be worth having a multi tool because it's just going to make me feel a lot more comfortable running around the map with a multi tool. So, and it means we can get rid of the survival tool. We can put the drill in. It's not much good, but it's right. We've now got a multi tool. Uh, we'll make two of those, which we'll use up our. Um, steel plates and fuel cells there but we've got a couple of fuel cells that we can use it's not like we're going to use vast quantities of the multi-tool we're going to get there we'll put the chainsaw on there as well so we're looking good um we can put an armor locker on i'm not sure i want to put an armor locker because there is actually an armor locker in the in here well there used to be an armor locker um, sure there used to be an armor locker in the UCH records there's the oxygen switch on main power there's the armor locker just tucked in there so we could change do that does it give me more heat protection let's just have a look it gives me heat protection to minus five i think we'll go with the improved light armor for the moment um actually i wouldn't mind some radiation protect what's the radiation protection like 
we got up protection up to six rads we're okay i think we're okay we shouldn't really hit anything worse than six rads to begin with so we're kind of now set up we don't really need that ammunition because well we haven't got it we've got we've got a so we don't need that now so that can go we've got a couple of fuel cells we've got that there we've got this here um we can drop that we've got plenty of that stuff uh core um we kind of think we're well set up now so we're, we're kind of in a position now where we we've done this area here we've done the three small wreckages uh we've got a large wreckage there we've got some deposits there i don't really want to do some mining i think just to wind this video up what we're going to do is we're going to go south and see what's south of us and because i just like i must admit i do really like to know what's around me and what i can take advantage of so right got that there we go so so say just to finish this video off As I said, so, so what we're going to do is just going to go south and see what's around. If we can find some more deposits. Ideally, I would like to find a Promethium deposit. That would be brilliant. What was that? So these are basically flooded areas. Whoops, I can hear somebody coming near us. Where are you? I can hear somebody. They were... I mean, we're taking a little bit of a risk. We are operating in the dark. So we're just going to fly, go down south here, see what we can find. I'm still looking for crash ships, anything that might be of use. There's a whole load of... Ads. Oh, okay, we got an Oki. An Oki there. He's a good XP. Um... <laughs> of course we can now pick the herbal leaves because we've got somewhere to store them and hope good source of I've got some more now we've got a fridge Uh, just grab everything we can around the area here especially the plant protein we're still living on energy bars which we will be for a little while yet i killed a plant fiber i killed a killed a plant fiber plant i think the other thing i'm just going to do is put take a tree down as well while we're at it Got eight logs. And we've got also take that while we're at it as well. Other bike bridge. Put that in there, put that in there. Just shove that in there as well. Oops. Put that in the fridge so I know where it is. Put that there so it doesn't go out of position anymore. Oh, we've got another lake here. I don't really want to go across the lake in the dark. Um, there's certainly a lot of lakes on this. Oh, hello. We'll do a little bit of hunting. We've got a pteropod here. Got an egg. I was expecting some meat actually. Please go. More herbal leaves.
Well, we'll put the egg in there, actually. We'll just keep knocking out the... those... Where are we? If we kind of go that way, we can follow the lake round. Oops. I think in the dark this isn't a good. So what we're going to do is we're going to just going to head back to the wreckage. So this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. What I'll do off camera is go out and see if I can get some more resources. I might come over and do a bit of mining here, get some of the grind of the game out of the way. But until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.